to show you how to create your own trouser pattern using only six body measurements. My hip plus one inch is 11 and a half inches. I'm going to mark that 11 and a half inches right there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I'll join both sides together, both points. Join them together for a line, straight line. And it'll be parallel to the top of the rectangle. Moving on, I am going to measure out my knee location. My knee location is 21 inches, so I'm going to measure it from the top of the rectangle to wherever that would be. So my knee location is 21 inches. I'm going to measure it out. So here I have 21 inches. And on the other side, 21 inches. Join both sides together. So I'm going to label here knee location. And I'm going to measure here, label here one quarter of hip plus one inch. So along this line here, I am going to measure out ten and a half inches. Ten and a half inches is one quarter of my hip. Remember, along the length of the, the rectangle, we've got um, one quarter of the hip plus one inch, and that's that point there. But now I'm gonna go across that way and measure out one quarter of my hip. No, nothing else added onto it. So that's 10 and a half inches. Mm -hmm. Mark it. Okay, so what we need to do now is split this measurement here, which is 10.5 for my one, into four parts. When I divide that into four parts, mine would give me two and five eighths. So I'll go ahead and mark it out there because there's a gap I've got here between this other end of the trousers. I've got this mark here. Now I need to find out what... Um, one quarter of here to there is and then add it onto this part here. So that gives me two and five eighths. So this two and five eighths would be right there. So I'll click this just to remind us. So two five eighths is added on now to this ten and a half. Yeah. So now we've got a longer line now. So that's that's going to be the crotch really of the trousers. From the crotch to the hip, we need to now split, we need to measure up from here to there and then split it into two halves and find the midpoint. So I'll measure it and I measure from here, the crotch, all the way to there. I have 13 inches. I'm going to divide 13 inches into two parts. 13 divided by 2, I should know this, <laughs> 6 and a half. I'm going to mark my 6 and a half point and that's right in the middle. So that's my midpoint and this really would be your crease line. That would be the line that goes down the middle of your trousers. The easiest way to do this to avoid making mistakes is to just mark it along all the lines you've got on your trousers. This is my waist. I need to label that. That's the waist. So that's the waist of the trousers. That's the crotch. Okay, so, so far we have used this measurement. We've used this measurement. We've used this measurement. Moving on, we're going to use one eighth of the waist. And my, one eighth of my waist is four one quarters of an inch. But where do we need it? We need that measurement 
right here at the waistline this waistline right here so i'm going to go ahead to where i have my my um, crease line that's my crease line again i'm going to label that crease Okay, so I'm going to measure out that four and a half, four one quarter of an inch, four one quarters, um, and I would have it going in this direction towards the crotch. It's going towards the crotch. Crotch is right there. We have the crotch. Okay, so we have our crotch there, and this is our crease line. This measurement, that four one quarter, would go towards in the direction of the crotch. So I need four and one quarter of an inch. I'm gonna measure it out right there. And then I'm going to draw a line that would connect my four one quarters of an inch. And it would connect it to this line here, this one here. Yeah, the initial line, that the 10 and a half inches. So I'd have it going down. It isn't a parallel line, just so you know, it's not a parallel line. Okay. So after connecting this here to there, when you've connected this point here to that point, so remember this was the initial hip um, one quarter of an inch, one quarter of your hip. This was that that point there, and you've connected it to the, this new point here along the waistline. When you connect both of them, you now need to go ahead and measure out. You need to measure out. Look at the crotch there. That's the crotch point, and that's our ten point five point. When you measure how much you've got between here and there, well, I don't. We don't need to measure it because we already know. We worked it out, didn't we? And that was, um, it gave us two five eighths. I'm just going to double check. That was two five eighths. Absolutely. So now we need to measure out two five eighths along this line here. Two five eighths there. And they're both, they should both be equal. And then we're going to use our uh, curve, our curve ruler to connect both of them so we're going to join them using a curved line oh, my line is a bit it's, it's a bit sharp so I'm going to make it a bit more curved can't have sharp lines so now it's a bit more curved i'm using a sharpie just make to make my lines a bit more pronounced and you can see what i'm doing going back to our measurements we've got one quarter of our cuff width one quarter of our cuff width which is three and a half inches that's the hem line hem we need to measure out one quarter of our cuff width and that's three and a half inches like i said earlier three and a half inches and that would go on both sides because i want my cuff to be um i wanted my cuff to be 14 inches so we divide it into four parts and that would give me three and a half on one side three and a half on the other side three and a half on this side three and a half on that side right so there's a very important measurement that needs to be done and there's a bit of a calculation that will be done as well. You need one quarter of your knee width, but before you do that, you need to add three inches to your knee width. I added three inches to my knee width to get 19 and a half. So my knee width is 16 and a half plus three inches to give me 19 and a half. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work out one quarter of my knee width one quarter of my knee width which is 19.5 divided by four and that would give me four and seven eighths four inches and seven eighths so now what we need to do is mark out so along that line that shows our knee along this line here this line we are going to mark out four seven eighths on both sides. 
So we'd have four seven eighths on this side and four seven eighths on that side. Next thing to do is to connect the point there, the knee point on the knee line and the point on the hem line. So that's for the cuff and that's for the knees. So I'll join this one here to that one to form the trouser leg. And then we're going to connect this, this here to the crotch points, this crotch points there. So I'm going to draw a line straight, a straight line connecting both. But then notice that would have a bit of a point. It will join together at a point. So I'm just going to smooth it out using my curve. Very ever so slight um, curve. It's not that, not that bad. Okay, and then moving on. The next step now is to create the waist. Okay, the waist of our trousers. And having a look on this line here that shows our waist i am going to measure from this point here this point that we connected from the crutch all the way to this waist line i'm going to measure out our waist so where we worked out one quarter of the waist plus one and a half inches this one and a half inches represents the darts um, i'm going to work i'm going to um, measure measure that out and that is 10 inches so we need 10 inches on this um, line here we need 10 inches by using my measuring tape 10 inches and there's my 10 inches right there so I am going to use my hip curve not a massive curve it isn't it's just um, a very slight curve so moving on to our front darts um, if you remember we had one and a half inches for our darts so what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to include two darts on this if you want to have just one dart on your trouser, go ahead and just measure out um, four and a half inches, make it four and a half inches long your dart. But I want my darts, I wanna have two darts in front. Three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch on one side, and that gap in between would be four of one inch. Then we'll have another three quarters of an inch. Oh, three quarters of an inch, sorry. Let's check that's three quarters. Three quarters and three quarters. Excellent. The point of three quarters of an inch is three eighths. So I'm going to mark my three eighths there. And three eighths here. There. And then I'll draw my straight line to create my dart. Oh, it's a four and a half inch length. One, two, three, four and a half. Stop there. I'm going to create my dart. One, two, three, four and a half. If I were to create a one and a half inch dart, or if I were to make my dart a bit smaller, I would I would have a one inch dart and remove half inch from this end and just have a one inch dart there along the crease line. But I want to have mine. I want to have two darts. 